Erica Jane, one of the real housewives of Beverly Hills, is involved in a scandal with her ex-husband Tom Girardi, since apparently their divorce is a move to cover up for stealing two million from legal settlements, including families of the victims of the 2018 Indonesian Lion Air crash. What's strange is that from the moment Girardi's law firm was sued for embezzlement or misappropriation of funds that belonged to another party, they announced the divorce, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and Jane was revealed tough moments of their lives, such as a near-fatal car crash in 2017. You might remember that Girardi, as trial lawyer, effectively won the case that inspired the Oscar-winning film Erin Brokovich, after he secured a $300 million settlement for hundreds of victims of a power company accused of poisoning their water supply. But now, two and a half years after the Lion airplane crash, the families of the victims are still waiting for some of their settlement money after receiving only part of the final amount. They are now suing Girardi himself, claiming he stealed millions of dollars that Moyne had agreed to pay the families in massive settlements, and even his own business partners sued him to dissolve any professional relationship with him. In fact, it's not the first time Girardi has been accused of stealing client funds. The lawsuit alleges he also withheld money from earthquake victims, cancer sufferers and former workers from Lockheed Martin. More than 16 months after the Indonesian families accepted a settlement offer from Boeing, Girardi has still given them no explanation as to why they have not received the full amount owed to them, or where the money has gone. Meanwhile, Girardi and Erica had to maintain the lavish lifestyle that the public sees in the show. Just to have an idea, Erica reportedly spent $40,000 per month on her looks. Well, 40 grand or not, she still looks like the dude from White Chicks. Erica is desperately trying to prove that she did not know anything about her husband's criminal activities, even if her own businesses have benefited from massive loans to the tune of $25 million. So given all these circumstances, is Erica Jane legit? Is she really the victim here? We're going to dissect them now. Welcome back my body language buddies. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas, I'm the Battle Language Guy, and it would be great if you join us by just liking this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell. Let's get down to it. So there's footage from the show itself, where Erica tries to distance herself from the criminal activities of her husband, and at the same time tries to paint herself as a victim. She also points fingers at the lawsuit that suggests that their divorce is just a strategy so they can protect their asses, I mean, assets from these very heavy accusations. And what's being said is just, I mean, it's insane that my divorce is a sham. And what's being said is just, I mean, it's insane that my divorce is a sham. So when they say it's a sham, they said that my divorce is a sham so I can help hide assets. The, the answer is no. My divorce is a sham so I can help hide assets. The, the answer is no. I know, sweetie. This. I know, sweetie. <laughs> to understand why Erica's gestures are a bit odd, it's important to know that she has always stated that there are, in fact, two different Erica's living in the same body. On one hand, Erica Girardi, the wife, the housewife, so to speak, who lives a life like everyone else and struggles like everyone else. And the other Erica, that is Erica Jane, who is the flamboyant performer, singer, show business persona that she crafted for herself. That is fine, most performers' personal lives are sometimes pretty much different from what we see on stage. Britney Spears is a good example, since in person or interviews she's always a bit shy, but when she's performing she literally unleashes her power. And in regards to having more than one personality, you remember the time when Beyoncé split into her alter ego, Sasha Fierce. But the problem that I see here is that the reality show that ironically has a real on its name has revealed that this supposed duality in fact does not exist. And we could watch hours of her antics in every episode and it will be really hard to find authentic emotional expressions, because her face, as well as everyone else's for that matter, is a single Botox mask drilled deep into her skull. Checking out some of her interviews, it's a bit easier to watch a glimpse of the real human being in the exchanges with Jenny McCarthy and Larry King, but it's still hard to spot any solid emotional reactions on her face or even her body and gestures. 
it always looks so plastic that it's really hard to feel empathy for her because we usually bond with people that we can relate to in an emotional way. In some way or another, you get to understand what she has been through. And it's not because she's in the show business, because you can be an artist such as Dolly Parton and Tina Turner and still be authentic and mostly natural. Now the question arises, did Erica knew about all that was happening with Tom before getting a divorce? What's her response to a direct question? Did you have a heads up? Is that why you got divorced? No, I did not. Did you have a heads up? Is that why you got divorced? No, I did not. It's really easy to spot that right before answering that no, that she did not know about Tom's criminal activities before getting divorced, she was nodding. She was subconsciously saying yes. In other moments of the program, she's seen deflecting the question and not answering directly, such as in this one. Orphans and widows, it makes you feel sick. Did you know any of this? No one knows the answer but him. Since this is an edited trailer, we cannot be sure if she was answering that specific question, but the sentence itself, no one knows the answer but him, is a contrast against the fact that she has stated many times that the money involved was their money, meaning Tom and herself, since they both paid taxes on those earnings. Now, I noticed a huge contradiction in Erica's fans all over the internet. They claim that she's a successful woman on her own, and she did not pay attention to anything that was happening with her husband. But then we got statements like this. Why did you not leave if you knew he was cheating on you? Where am I going? You're so beautiful. You had your whole life ahead but of you. But you know what? Where am I going? She wants to portray herself as if she was a victim that had no allowances, barely a credit card, that her husband controlled everything that she spent. That's the part I don't get. Wasn't she supposedly a performer, entrepreneur on her own? And for God's sake, there are public statements that Erica's company received those $25 million in loans from Girardi. So you might think that it could have been an influx of cash or investment for her business, right? And when she first wanted to become an entertainer many years ago, Tom made sure to find the best agents, the best producers, the best anything to get her career going. It would make sense to look for the best business advisor since he was loaning that amount of money to her companies. So that doesn't make sense. And even less sense if Erica says that she doesn't have any place to go, even if her husband's assets are frozen. But do you know what does make sense? Jewelry and luxury items, two things that were constantly displayed publicly in their lifestyle, and there are all the records you want in the show itself. And do you know what? Jewelry and luxury items have always been a great way to hide assets since they give a level of murkiness to your net worth, and they're easy to move or just stash somewhere, and they are mentioned on the lawsuit against them. Erica can cry as much as she wants, even if she forgets to put on waterproof mascara, just like the one that she wore when she gave that TED talk and cried on stage. But the problem is that by her own accounts, the way she's trying to play the victim doesn't fit with those public records. It's a contradiction in itself. In regards to Tom having Alzheimer, I think that is pointless because in no way that can take his responsibility away from everything that he's done. What I did notice is that his ability to give interviews has declined year after year. He takes more time to respond, he speaks softer, he doesn't have the same energy, and since he's past 80 years old and obviously he hasn't taken his physical health that seriously, it is not that far-fetched that he could be suffering from that illness. I cannot make a diagnosis, but the signs are out there. As for Erica, the fact that her company received that money from Tom, and there was no apparent plan on how to invest it, doesn't fit with the controlling persona of Tom, which in turn reinforces the fact that they were just trying to hide it from authorities. And Erica not knowing about what did $25 million were doing in her company, a company that is basically herself, that sounds implausible. One more thing. We got bills to pay. Yeah, absolutely. I've got more videos that you can check now to keep improving your battle language skills to detect hidden intentions. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you don't want to miss any of my battle language analysis and tips. 
Take care, my body language bodies.